The Hydro 9 was founded in 1992 with three original partners, and originally we were just going to do repair work in the hydraulic cylinder business. But in the first year, we figured out pretty quick on the repair side, very difficult to survive. So we went back into the manufacturing where we came from, actually. The manufacturing products we make is hydraulic cylinders, rotary manifolds, and square block manifolds. Our main industry is forestry equipment, construction equipment, open pit mining, underground mining, and the utility companies. And in the last three and a half years, the business has almost doubled in size. Since we focused on fast turnaround, low volume production, that's where the growth has been. The Asian competitors, they want high volume and long lead time. That's exactly opposite what the market is gone today. Today, we have to be able to ship from time of order to time of shipment in between five and seven days. And that actually has been the major change in our business because there's very few in North America that can beat us on that. And that's how we've been gaining market share because of that service. We ship all the way to New Zealand, China, all over the globe, uh, hydraulic products. The rest of the product goes to manufacturing plants locally mostly and they will export somewhere between 60 and 80% of their product. So overall, we figure 80 to 85% of everything that gets manufactured here is shipped outside of Canada. Our equipment has become way more complicated than it used to be. So we implemented a digital strategy to train our young workforce. So we developed that software internally. We got the money from the AIM Global Grant and we use that money to train the folks how to use this software. We originally started off with 10 iPads in the plant. Today, we have 70 iPads in this plant in Ingersoll. Every work instruction is electronically available. They go step by step, picture by picture, and they can see it in front of their eyes happening, basically, before they actually do it. Once we had everything digitized and available with iPads, we found a 30% reduction in overall scrap costs. For us, that's a large number. Also, production hours increased because we did not have to redo 30% of that first time setup. To us, that's worth close to a million dollars a year. Without the Landry Foundation's money for training, we could not grow. There's a mass shortage in skilled trades coming into the manufacturing space. And the baby boomers are retiring. And if we don't capture what those baby boomers know, if we don't capture that digitally, we will not survive. You have to train. And you have to spend that money to train people. But with the Lander Foundation, you can tailor your training to your manufacturing needs. And the East Landry Foundation has been able to help us in that space.